At this time, it's my uh, privilege to read a proclamation declaring June 18th, 2020, on the occasion of uh, Dr. Ju Judy Hyper's 80th birthday. Um, those of you who don't know, uh, well, you're gonna, I'll read the proclamation, you'll know a great deal about one of Seneca Falls' own. Um, Where is it important to recognize those whose contributions to the community improved the quality of life for all residents of the town of Seneca Falls, and where among us live those who distinguished professional careers and personal achievements serve the advancement of our great state and nation. It is right and fitting to honor that contribution to society. Whereas Seneca Falls resident, Dr. Judith Judy Piper, an infrared astronomer and astrophysicist at two acclaimed universities, Cornell University and the University of Rochester, celebrates her 80th birthday on June 18th, 2020. Whereas Judy was born June 18, 1940 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the daughter of Earl Lester Alexander Bancroft and Agnes K. Kathleen McGowan Bancroft. Judy demonstrated a scholarly aptitude at a young age, and while excelling in academics, also achieved local fame at the age of 16 when she was named Junior Miss Homemaker for the Providence of Ontario. Whereas Judy graduated from the University of Toronto, where she studied astronomy, Judy then moved to the Finger Lakes region to begin graduate studies at Cornell University in Ithaca. While teaching science classes at the high school and college level, Judy began her graduate work in then new field of infrared and sub-millimeter astronomy, becoming the first woman to pursue research into ultra-sensitive light detection of celestial bodies. Whereas Judy received her PhD from Cornell University in 1971, and then joined the faculty of the physics and astronomy department at the University of Rochester, where she became the founder of a group of observational infrared astronomers. She has continued research while building important partnerships between academic and industrial research groups, as well as teaching students for nearly 50 years. Whereas Judy's professional achievements are significant, including capturing the first telescopic infrared pictures of starburst galaxies. She was chosen to work on NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope designing its infrared detector arrays, which allowed NASA to study the distant universe, capturing evidence of forming stars, black holes, and other deep space phenomena about which humanity could previously only speculate. Whereas Judy is a distinguished member of numerous astronomical organizations and the author of more than 200 scientific articles and papers, she is deeply respected by others in her profession and has chaired or served on a number of national committees that determined astrophysics funding for NASA and the National Science Foundation. Her professional recognition includes receiving the Susan B. Anthony Lifetime Achievement Award in 2002, and in 2007, Dr. Judith Pfeiffer was con conducted into the Seneca Falls Landmark Organization, which honors significant achievements of women in American history. The National Women's Hall of Fame. In 2009, Discover Magazine stated that Dr. Judy Piper is considered by many to be the mother of infrared astronomy. And in 2018, an official citation was published by the Minor Planet Center named an asteroid 306128 Piper in her honor. Whereas while teaching at Cornell University, Judy met Robert Bob Eugene Piper, an engineer and world traveler, and two embarked on a lifelong journey together and were married in 1965. Bob gave Judy four stepchildren, Timothy, Vicki, Wendy Hunter, and Neil Piper, whom she loves very much. Both avid lake enthusiasts, Judy and Bob became shepherds to Cuba Lake, where they took residence in 1971. Together they built a 40-foot trimarian watercraft they named Cygnus after the constellation and fully enjoyed the Finger Lakes experience. Judy became a board member of the Cuba Lake Watershed, an organization which protects the lake and its tributaries as a critical natural resource. Whereas given their professional achievements and uniquely sought after knowledge in their specialized field, Judy and Bob could have chosen anywhere to live, but our community residents share in the good fortune that they chose to build their life together in Seneca Falls. Now therefore be it resolved that the town of Seneca Falls hereby proclaim 
excuse me, proclaimed June 18, 2020 to be Dr. Judy Pfeiffer Day in honor of celebration of her 80th birthday, a significant milestone for a treasured member of the community.